Hey look, it's a thing that I can do. Huh, I got a thing. That's kind of neat. Um, hi, welcome back. I sort of like walked here without talking. <laughs> just, like, I was so fixated on just, I don't know what. I just sort of didn't talk, like, at all. And I was like, oh, right, yeah, I should probably say words. Um, so I'm back. Uh, the next level's up here, I believe. Which is kind of cool. So. Hey, it's like the circus level we were just in, except it is not the circus level we were just in. It is Space Circus Fever. A different, entirely different circus level. So, neat. And after this, the final level of the game. Final level, we're nearly done. Nearly done. Nearly done. Within an hour, maybe-ish, sort of. We'll be done. Ish. Sort of. Not entirely. Yeah. Ginger. I have nothing to say anymore. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> is this a... Bee Circus Chief? He looked yellow and black, so I'm guessing it's some sort of bee. Maybe. These creatures sort of remind me of the rabbits. From, uh... Remembering Rabbit. But... Like... Not. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another of our star show performances. You won't see this anywhere else. Oh, no, no. Welcome to the Grand Circus. I can't shout because it's too late. I hope you have already been into the restroom. It'd be a shame if anyone missed some of the show. It looks like what? That was quick. And here is today's contest. Oh, Jesus Christ. Will he be able to save those adorable creatures before they become today's meal? I see a crystal in there. Let the game begin. You can always pass this way if you're in a hurry. I've got two minutes to do something. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. Okay, so you can restart. I see. Got it. So I just have to climb this thing in two minutes. So this has the potential to be a super quick level, basically. Is that what you're saying? I thought I had to fight that thing. Like, I genuinely thought that's where this was going. This is a really cool level, actually. I'm kind of digging this. Oh, and it's got checkpoints. That's nice. That's actually really nice. I wasn't actually expecting that. I was kind of expecting it to just be like, surprise, you die. And hey, if you need them, here's some more of those gems that you're collecting, so that's pretty cool. Ooh, loads of them, by the way. That is actually really nice, because... Oh, yeah, fucking really hell. Nice. Really, really fucking nice. Fucking hell. <laughs> Hi. Hi. <laughs> this did is a cool did level. Did you miss me? Yes. And then, I, and then suddenly I didn't. <laughs> Did you forget I was part of this? No, I just didn't think you'd be back then. <laughs> so at the bottom is a giant hideous plant monster. There's three creatures trapped in a cage. They're gonna fall into the hideous plant monster in, uh, in well the time limit I have. So I've got to save them. Nice. Pretty cool idea. I like it. Where's the jester hat? It's like. 5 to 12, and I went downstairs, and my dad is like full on cleaning the kitchen. I see. I don't know why. I think I won. No, I've moved on to part two. Damn it, you're going to face my minions now. You almost suffered from premature congratulation then. Yeah, I did. Yeah, that thing. Do you see that thing? Did you know? Did I know? Congratulations. What did you say? That was... I'm premature congratulations. It's Mr. Talky Talk! Oh, talking here! Talking there! Look at me! Mr. Talky Talk! The, the talk test has succeeded. <laughs> I thought this was going to be a really quick two minute level, and this is not that. 
but at the same time it's a pretty cool level, so I'm not that I'm not complaining. It's basically pure platforming. Oh shit. <laughs> he sort of died. This kinda of reminds me of the final Rayman 3 boss. Yeah, I see what you mean. That's what give me the Oh Christ. You can restart and that basically kills them. Good. That's actually kind of terrifying. I knew we started because I died. Take too long to get back up. But, but yeah, no, that's kind of cool. I, like, I don't know what the benefit of the red crystals actually have. Like the the Mario Sunshine kind of levels. I don't know what they hmm. actually do. I, the game might have told me, and I've already forgotten because it's been like a couple of days since we did the first recording session. Well, actually, it's been like a week actually, but still. Like, but yeah. I don't really remember. More than a week. Was it? We record. Oh no, yeah, we did two recording sessions, didn't we? Did so, we? Um. Yeah, we did. We recorded on Friday and then we recorded on Saturday. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, point being, like, it. It might have told us, but I've, it's been a while, so I forgot. So. Oh I've, I've had an idea mm -hmm. for society, uh -huh. for a better society. I see. Go on. Oh, you'd like to hear it? Yes, I would, yes. Correct. Yeah, right. Well, you, you know what? Y you've known me for like a long time, years. Yes. What yep. do I hate? Memes. <laughs> Other than memes, what do I really hate? Liars. Close. Um, you're on the right lines. Oh shit, I just got attacked. Um, gang attacked, probably. <laughs> that's that's not what I was thinking of. No, I, I don't think I'm wrong. <laughs> well, I, I can't think of many people who like being attacked. I'm sure there's a fetish. Yeah, actually, you're right. Forget I said that. <laughs> Um, I'm trying to think. I mean, liars is pretty close, so. Yeah. Well, I have been very open about how much I hate liars. Yeah. So. Yeah. It's similar. It's it's in the same vein of like something that people do. That. Is that that I don't like. Um. As soon as you say it, I'm gonna be like, "Oh yeah, of course." <laughs> but I, I don't know. It is midnight. <laughs> I mean, it's it's a thing that a lot of people like don't like. You, there's no reason why you would like it, but I, it particularly winds me up a lot. Okay. It's not helping. Like I good. have absolutely zero patience for it. It's gonna hit me so hard when you say what it is. But I really can't think of anything right now. I'm also platforming, which might be contributing to it. Yeah. Should I tell you? Yeah, please do. Is is rudeness? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, of course it is. Just general rudeness. Something I just cannot stand. And I was thinking about this. I went to get a uh, a ticket um, for for the Met. Mm -hmm. um, because we have a lovely Metrolink system in Manchester. Yes, we do. And I do it like it's really good. almost. Hmm. It's actually really good. I really liked it. Yeah. Um. I. Um. So I get like a the Met almost every day when I go to uni, and I got there, and um at the station I go to, there's two ticket machines right next to each other, and then there's a few others dotted around. So I went to this ticket machine. And these people were like on one of them. And then this woman was just stood in front of the other one. So I couldn't like get to it. And like, she had a crutch, but she was holding it right out. So I couldn't even get past her. And she had her back to me and she was talking to these people. So I couldn't be like, excuse me, can I get a ticket? And then the people who were on the other one, like couldn't get that one to work. So they moved over to the one that I was going to. So I was like, okay, I'll go to the one that they were just at. Um, hopefully it's working. But then some other girl came up and went to that one. 
So I had waited behind both of them. And then the Met came. And then one, like the girl who went to the one that I was going to go to, she got her ticket. And then some other woman came up. And I was quite clearly waiting. And she was like, she, I just let her go because I'm too polite. I'm like, she didn't even say thank you or anything. But like, I missed the Met. That sucks. And, um... That just sucks. Yeah. She also missed the Met, this woman, who I let go first. But it takes me, like, ten seconds to get a ticket, because I do it every day. I know exactly what I'm pressing. Like, it's muscle memory by this point. Yeah. She came out with, like, a fiver, which means she's got to put it in the machine. I'm just gonna, like, chip and pin it. Yeah. I'm like... If I'd have gone... I would have got on that Met, and she would have missed the Met. Because she went, she missed the Met anyway, and I also missed the Met. And no one, nobody seemed, like, even thankful for what I did. And I was thinking about, like, rudeness is so easy to not be rude. Yeah. But, like, so many people do it, and I don't know why. I think it's also, I think this is, this connects with anyone. I think it's also very easy to miss what a lot of people do for you. Yeah. Like, and I'm not just talking about like, like just random strangers. I think just friends in general. I know there's a couple of friends that I have like done things for, but they probably will never notice or will never know that I did. Um, yeah, I mean like, that's just the nature of things. And it's not even the woman who I let go first, who I'm like oh. most angry in the situation is the woman who was stood in front of the ticket machine who wasn't buying a ticket because like that is rude and like public transport is a really big one for rude people you get people yeah. who like bust on before other people have got off you get people who, like like dashing to other people to seats that other people are clearly about to sit in and stuff yeah and, like, are usually on public transport because they need to be somewhere Sometimes yeah. in a hurry, like, you don't get a taxi because that's just really not going to help. I'm shit at this level, I'm just going to die. <laughs> <laughs> but, I see rudeness so much, and like, then when I got off the mat when I was coming home, mm. these two guys had just, I don't know what they'd done, there was a lot of litter on the floor. I don't know if they dropped their litter there, there was a lot of it. Or if they'd like emptied out a bin or something. And this guy was like yelling at them like, hey, you shouldn't do that, that's illegal. And then they started swearing at him like like he was in the wrong for telling them for telling them off. Oh, when just like an idiotic teenager or something. They weren't, they were grown men. Okay, they're just idiotic men who like to they bully were... or something. Oh, that's balls. No, and the recording finished. So you were saying. Right. It's people like that who vote for things, political things, and I'm thinking like, do they care about the rest of the country? 48% like, cares about the rest of the country. Hmm? 48% cares about the rest of the country. Yeah, like that's the thing is, I don't 100% agree with democracy. Because I, it doesn't always work, and like Brexit is a perfect example of how democracy doesn't work. If there's almost a 50-50 split in your country, that means practically half your country is unhappy with this with a decision. Yeah. And they've voted, but so their vote <laughs> means nothing, and like. I was, like, thinking, like, do some people deserve to vote? I mean, obviously a lot of people voted Brexit with genuine reasons. Like, there were reasons yeah. to exit the EU. Yeah. But I, so lie. many people did it because they don't like immigrants. Yeah. Or, or things like that. I'm like... Basically, it's just scumbags, I think. And then I had this idea, which was, 
like there's the law, right? And there's you commit a crime, and there's like a punishment for that, and that's like serious. And it's it's in position to stop people from committing crimes. You still there? Yeah, yeah, yeah sorry. Yeah, but also like. I feel there should be something else to stop people from being scumbags. To just, it's so easy to not be rude, but there's people don't see reasons to not be rude. Whereas yeah. if you gave them a reason, people would just be better people. Mm. And like, if you put in like a system where you define things as morally bad things to do, and you when people do them a lot, then someone takes note of it. And instead of like a, like a crime and punishment system, because they're not committing crimes, they're just being dickheads, basically. Mm. So they become like a registered dickhead. And they've got like a dickhead record. And then because they've got a dickhead record, that, that when they go and apply for a job, Pe the employers will see oh this person's a dickhead like so I might consider someone else who is applying for this job mm. or another thing is like should dickheads be allowed to vote you could take away their voting privileges if they're a dickhead I mean what can can criminals vote you can't vote if you're in prison no I don't think so I mean like the thing is when people vote, when they care about what they're voting for, they're not voting for themselves, they're voting for the country. But if someone's a dickhead, they're just gonna vote for a dickhead reason. Like, I don't like immigrants or something. But like, does that benefit the country in any way? Mm, I don't know. Interesting I know it's like pretty radical to just say like you're a dickhead so you can't vote but like I just think there should be some kind of punishment for being a dickhead it's never gonna be the case though no I mean it, it's the second it's you do that this would never happen and like the second you do that you become no no better than those who wanted to cause Brexit in the first place like to, well, for negatively could you sing yeah, out the, those the, the for thing reasons, is, it is the thing with it is, it, it could be easily manipulated, but so could the law, basically. Like, there's a lot you can, you can, uh, what's the word? I can't remember the word. Basically, you could, you could, you've got to set like a, a preset rules of of what a dickhead is. And like, there would probably be a lot of problems there because a lot of people feel like their opinions are definitely right. Mm. <laughs> but like, things like littering, it's its not hard to not litter. No, it really isn't. There's bins everywhere. It wasn't for a time though, I don't know if this happened to you, but right after like 9 11 and stuff, bins just disappeared. Oh yeah, didn't have them in like stations and stuff in case people put bombs in the bin. Yeah, that was a thing.